Today at ShopTap.com, we talk about water leaks on VW and Audi models. The symptoms of a car with a water leak are as follows. Number one, a gym locker or mildew smell coming from inside the car. Number two, when you leave your vehicle out on a hot day and your windows fog up. Number three, 27 black ice air fresheners hanging from your rear view mirror to cover up the fact that your inside of your car smells like Water intrusion has been a problem since the beginning of cars. With doors, windows, HVAC systems, and sunroofs, you have a lot of places for water to potentially enter the vehicle. All the areas where water potentially could come into the vehicle are going to be managed differently depending on the vehicle. Some areas are intended to be watertight and seal, while others are intended to channel the water away from the vehicle. Most commonly on VW and Audi models, a water leak is going to come from the sunroof, unless you have a convertible. And then they're just doing what convertibles do, which is leak water. Most people believe that this sunroof seal is intended to be watertight, while most current VW and Audi models use a system that is essentially a gutter track. This is what a Mark V GTI sunroof frame looks like without a headliner in it. And this is what a Touareg sunroof frame looks like without a headliner. As you can see, they use a track system that surrounds the sunroof and they use drain tubes at all four corners. And the rear is run down the C or D pillar and exit at the rear body. The front tubes run down the A pillar and most often come out of the door jam. Historically, the most common issue has to do with dirty nipples. Dirty sunroof drain nipples. Now on this Mark V, the front drain comes out in the cowl right here, which is located right back here, and you can take a look at that. This nipple opens and closes as water comes down that drain tube. Now what will happen is over time, it will fill with pollen, dirt, debris, leaves, and it will clog that nipple up. Now when that valve does not open at the bottom, the water will back all the way up until it spills over the top. Now surprisingly, what will happen, water will actually run down this A pillar like a, like a slide and then shoot down right into the floorboard through this hole here. On some later models with larger panoramic sunroofs, they have issues with the sunroof actually separating from the body of the vehicle or with the sunroof frame itself of the panoramic sunroof actually having cracks in it. Let's talk about other places that you can have water leaks. You're gonna wanna start by shutting off your water valves right here. Now that we've fixed our sink, we can move on. Oftentimes people think that door and window seals are the cause of their leak. While it is possible, it is highly unlikely. The same also goes for body plugs or things that they see missing or holes in the body of the vehicle. They believe that this is the cause of their water leak. Again, highly unlikely that any body plug is going to cause enough water to come up through it and actually create a leak inside the car. But actually, it's your toilet. The other point you should be looking at would be under the cowl. Now the cowl has the intake for the HVAC system under it. So what will happen is what will, over time, this will fill up with water. It will then roll over into the HVAC intake and then it will leak out from under the dash. While B5 Passats actually had a recall on their pollen filter housings, most of these cars that have cowls wouldn't leak unless you had a cracked cowl or your cowl was filled up with leaves allowing it to clog. Let's talk about diagnosing and repairing your water leak. Diagnosing your water leak requires you to pinpoint exactly where the leak is coming from. The problem with that is all these pesky trim panels and headliner. The problem is once you get past all the super common water leaks, you have to play guess and check until you locate your water leak. This means taking the pillars and the headliner out of the vehicle to help you locate your water leak. Okay. That, that's honestly too much work. Oh, what's that? That's too hard. And so I think you should get a few boxes of black eyes air fresheners to go with the black lung you're gonna have. Once you've disassembled the area where you believe the water leak to be coming from, you have to take a hose and get a friend and hold that on there for a long period of time and lay in the area where you're going to be locating that leak from and potentially be in a very uncomfortable position in the back of a Volkswagen. So what you just saw there was a leak coming from the access ports for these shocks. So the engineers of the Touareg wanted to do something really neat, which was put the shocks for the rear hatch inside the roof horizontally so that it would be beautiful and uh, aesthetically this would be pleasing and there would be no trunk shocks or anything in the way. That created access ports that now leak inside of our car. So uh, we know wh where we need to address with this car. It was leaking into the trunk of our car, which is how I knew it was probably either that or potentially taillights, taillight gaskets or something along those lines. We had water inside of our spare tire well. So 
we've diagnosed our car and hopefully we've helped you diagnose your car. A few notes about common leak points. Number one is going to be the nipples at the door jam or in the cowl on those. It's oftentimes gets cut to prevent it from backing up and getting dirt and debris stuck that allows it to flow through. This is maybe not the ideal solution, but it is a solution that will guarantee it doesn't get clogged up with anything. You also can blow compressed air through this tube to allow any dirt or debris to push through. This will be done with a air gun from here inside the sunroof with it open like so, and you're gonna get into that corner and use a blow gun to blow into there. You have to be super careful because if you blow too hard on this, you could blow this line off and then you have to drop the headliner to reinstall it. If your cowl is the issue, once you clean all your debris, you should be able to make sure that it drains properly by allowing some water to flow into it and ensure that it drains properly. Failing to fix a water leak on your vehicle could be disastrous. Most VW and Audi models have control modules or can have control modules underneath the carpet of the vehicle. If you allowed a vehicle like that to have an extended leak, you could have a huge range of issues. The water will corrode the electrical wiring as well as the control modules themselves and cause damage. This can result in issues around transmission control module problems. Uh, water leaks also can cause no start issues, convenience module problems, windows problems, as well as a bigger concern, which is going to be a health hazard. You can have mold and mildew growing in your car for an extended period of time, which eventually can make you sick. And like many people in the industry, I've even seen vehicles that had mushrooms growing inside them on the carpets. Please do not allow your, your vehicle to have that leaking for an extended period of time. It can eventually make you sick. Thank you so much for watching. If you like this video, be sure to give it a thumbs up and subscribe for more like it. Ah, oh, it's stuck.